So before this video properly begins and before my intro even plays, I want to announce the winner of my flag giveaway, my pride flag giveaway. So for the past few weeks, you guys have been entering like crazy. Wow. But I've picked a winner and the person who won, drum roll please, is Luca Maximilian. So if you want to come claim your prize, Luca, uh, all you got to do is DM me on Instagram and I will know who you are. And yeah, I'll be giving away another flag and I'll be announcing that at the start of August. So make sure you stay tuned, turn on my notifications and you could be possibly getting a signed pride flag to your door by the end of this year. Because there's going to be one given away every month. So yeah, uh, into the video. Hey what's up you guys, it's Jackson and welcome back to another video i'm gonna give myself whiplash one day so if you're new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button down below if you want to join the pickle squad because we're pretty freaking cool if i do say so myself we're like a queer fam we don't judge people people judge us but you know we stick together <laughs> but yeah if you want to be a part of the pickle squad make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications because youtube doesn't know how to work anymore and um doesn't help me get the moonlight not just doesn't help me grow so yeah, turn on my notifications to be notified when I post. Also, if you're already a part of Pickle Squad, let me know down below how long you've been a part of the Pickle Squad and I'll be replying to a few comments and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Now that's enough promoting myself, um, let's get on to what you came here for, which is content. So yesterday, which was, let me just check again, the 23rd of July, I got to meet a YouTuber I have watched for a long time. So if you don't know him, his name is Luke Cutford, or also known as Luke is not sexy, which I kind of disagree with, but that's not what this video is about. That's, that's not what this video is about. I made this video because I want to talk about when people are like, oh, um, you shouldn't meet your idol because um, they could disappoint you and you don't want that. But, 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 let me just talk about Luke Cutford for a second and Jumpkin, or also known as James. <laughs> So in April of this year, I also went to uh, one of Luke's meetups, which was interesting, but not a hugely fun experience, I won't lie. When I met Luke for the first time in April, um, I had just landed in London. So I was going to London to visit my friend Noah, and um, he was having a meetup, and I went to London. And on the day that I landed with my friend Mackenzie, or Kenzie, she's kill me for calling her Mackenzie, but my friend Kenzie, when we landed, um basically what happened was we went straight from what was it um stansted airport to dagnum and then we went from dagnum to like this place right beside london zoo and i'm not gonna lie it was a bit of a hike i never traveled on um london transport before on my own or without an adult so that was fun for me and kenzie and when we got there it was like nobody cared that me or Kenzie or whoever else was there hadn't gotten to meet Luke yet they were all just swarming him and I was like what the hell is going on so I was super tired I hadn't slept in hours hadn't eaten in hours and it took about an hour and a half to two hours before I even got within a foot from Luke like not even meeting him just within a foot from him but that wasn't his fault because like people were literally surrounding him and swarming him and it just did not look nice for him so i just made friends at that meetup and then i got to meet him and he was super nice gonna insert a little picture here he was super sweet um but yeah after that i went to uh we just went we just went home like we it was just like it was nice to meet him and he was super sweet but i got to meet him for all of like five ten seconds and then everybody else was pushing on me to get out so they could have more time with luke which was like the fuck but once again but but another but yesterday was so much better so yesterday uh luke and james came to uh dublin so i was like look i went to see them in april may as well come see them while they're in my hometown so i went on my own and i met up with like two friends there but when i got there i'd already been talking to james for a couple of days and james shout out to him he's the biggest sweetheart i miss him already i miss him and luke but i miss I don't know Luke as well as I know James, and I just <laughs> I miss James. <laughs> Jamkin, come back. But yeah, um, when I got there, it was so, so much better. Like, the Irish just know that if somebody hasn't had time with someone, and you need to meet them, or you haven't met them yet, or you need to go, like, we give each other time. Like, we won't swarm each other, we won't hit each other, and it's just, we're respectful. <laughs> I'm not saying the English aren't respectful, but we were respectful of each other, and... I think that was something really nice to experience. So like, I was able to talk to Luke for like a half an hour to an hour. I was talking to James the whole time. 
I was, you know, actually getting to properly get to know Luke and I'm gonna expose him for being one of the biggest sweethearts I've ever met in my life. Like, he has such a kind soul. Him and James, both of them. Evan was also there. I don't know Evan as well. Like, I don't watch his content, uh, but he was super, super nice as well. Like, they were all just genuine guys and just so nice and not, like, assholes. And that was such a nice experience. Um, and I just, like... I think more people should understand that if you don't get time with um, somebody who has like a bit of, you know, fame or has, is like an influencer and has a platform, if you meet them or go to a meet and greet, you don't get as much time with them as you'd want, unless they were the one like pushing you away, you cannot blame them for it. Like, it was just so nice to get to meet like the both of them and properly get to know them and like just get to know the person and not the content that was the best part so yeah this is my video like exposing youtubers and exposing how nice of a person luke cutford is and james is and i just i love those men evan is also such a sweet guy but like i said i wouldn't watch his content as much as i'd like talk to james or watch luke um but yeah super sweet guys uh definitely 10 out of 10 as luke said 10 out of 10 would luke again but he said would jackson again but yeah, um, I'm just going to leave in a couple little clips before we end this video of my day yesterday. And you can kind of see how it was and what happened. So yeah, there's no even need for me to do the intro because, uh, the outro because Luke did it for me. So yeah, enjoy. I will see you all in the next video. Bye. <sighs> We're finito. I didn't, I didn't forget. <laughs> Almost forgot, but didn't. Okay, go again. Ready? Right, here it is. I have it in my hand. If the camera will focus, I don't know if it will. Anyways, ready, Hector? Do it one more time. Go. Hey man, um, my name is Hector Lopez and I'm auditioning for America's Out Talent. Okay. This is amazing. <laughs> I flip. You're true to the next round. Thank you. <laughs> So I'm here with Jamkin, and he's signing my book, but he won't tell me what he's writing. It's super stuffy. That is very big for sure. It's so super stuffy. Do you have anything you want to say to the vlog? Um, soggy cereal. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> he records 4K, but I don't like using it because the stability is like really, really good. Yeah. Hi. Sorry for interrupting your conversation. I just wanted to get you in my video. Not being there? No, you've had enough. Moment of, <laughs> moment of shining. Moment of shining. Moment of shining. Hello. Thanks. Again. <laughs> I'm in your video. That's why I love about the G7 Expo is like that. Actually, where are you guys going next? Next. Yes. Well, we get on a ferry, like straight after this. Oh, we're, we're staying in, we're staying near Liverpool. Mm -hmm. we, we arrive in Wales. We drive near Liverpool, and then tomorrow morning we're going to Birmingham. How long okay. have you been like, like overall? <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this. What do I say? Teach me. Teach me to vlog. Okay, tell people what you're doing today. How are you doing? Hello, I'm feeling spicy. I'm sat in a park. We're doing a little meet and greet in Drug Park. Apparently it's Drug Park. Yeah, it's Drug Park. Yeah. Oh, good old Drug Park. Classic Drug Park action. Oh, Drug Park. Oh, Drug Park. Drug Park. Drug Park. Hello, this isn't for my vlog. This is Jackie's vlog. Anyway, <laughs> so we're doing a little Drug Park meet up without any drugs. Good Christian Drug Park meet up. We drug got buck. I've got, got <laughs> wait, I've got this thing, I've got something to show. And I'm feeling hungry. That's my hummy, hung, hummy, hummy tummy. Oh, there's loads of restaurants so you're looking. Good. Oh, and I am feeling like I don't know how to do this, even though I probably should because I'm it's apparently a job. YouTuber. It's not my job. It's your job. AdSense is dead. Okay. So this is to prove how small I am. So Hello, how's it going? We'll just... Anyway, um, this is where you would normally... <laughs> You're, you've got eyes in the shot, so that's pretty good. Yeah, it's not too bad. That's not... 
It's not too bad. It is annoying when I, I try and vlog. Do you want to say hi? Hello. Hello. It's all the people at the bar. Hello. He's there. I gotta go. Leave, James. I'm so sad. What? Hello. You just have to leave. I'm so sad. I don't want you to leave. Oh, it's so sad. Wow. I have to leave, I have to leave Jackson. Oh, no. Oh, you're such a prick. <laughs> Were your fancy ass camera? You think you're so cool? Oh, no. I'll never record. Oh, oh. It's not much. <laughs> I hope you have a trans-tastic day, a cis-tastic day, or a you-tastic day. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs>